The University Graduates of Nursing Science Association, UGUNSA, is a professional association for nurses with at least a first degree in nursing. The association was established in 1985 at Benin City with the aim to champion the cause of graduate nurses who, hitherto, were not regarded in the scheme of things. Once again, UGUNSA has lived up to its goal of positioning Nigerian nurses among global leaders and innovators in nursing education, research, and practice when it incorporated nurse interns into its monthly scientific sessions. The Eboy State Scientific Session for the month of May at Alex Ekweme Federal University Teaching Hospital, Abakaliki, was another moment of brainstorming for these graduate nurses. In a boisterous exhibition of knowledge, the nurse interns of this teaching hospital took their turns to discuss the topic, nursing documentation and report writing in clinical settings. <laughs> Okay. 
ready by the feet depends and different parts of the service. Take for instance, if a person walks into the hospital and happens to meet an admin, the admin writes down information that are given to him or her in their own record book. This information may not be the same the person to give to the doctor or to the nurse when they, they come in contact with the person. So the, the information here is really subjective, it varies. Especially in, in cases where there is a third party giving this information, we have cases where we find the folder and the age is varied. Maybe they admit that the child has brought the significant order that brought the child to the say the child is 11. We now find out when the child was brought in or conscious. But after, when the child started regaining himself, we eventually found out that he was just, just nice. That is to say that this um, information is subjective. So for the nurses, they use the observation chart, the nursing process. For the doctors, their own is the progress note. Then, but the disadvantage of this sort of related record system is that the information is not clear. Already, trying to explain this makes you understand that it's ambiguous because there are various forms, medical records, nurses, observation, and all of that. The second is problem oriented medical records. This is based on the second problem, other than other information sources. And it has four components. One is the database where all the information of the patient is entered and is updated as health of the patient changes. The second is the problem list. There are the four components of, I'm talking about the components of the problem oriented medical record. The problem list, that's where the problem, presenting problem is written down. But this problem list is usually updated as the care of the patient continues or according to the, as the, the progress in the patient's health status. The third is the plan of care. This plan of care is, for instance, for the nurses, we use the nursing care plan. And for the doctors, they use the medical care plan or the physician's order. The fourth is the progress note. The, pro the progress note starts as the evaluation sheet. It used to evaluate the general care given to the patient by all health professionals. The third is the PI. That actually stands for problem, intervention, and evaluation. Here, yeah, it has three categories. And this um, system simply means that when a patient, a patient comes into the hospital, Yes, the problem is identified. Then the second, interventions are made and evaluations are given. For what of time, the first is the um, focus scattering. This focus scattering is the system that makes the client concern and the client care, the focus of care. And these three columns, which are the date, date and time, the focus, which is the problem, the third, which is the progress, group, just as was so, um, explained in the previous. The fifth is starting by exception. This one is very particular because unlike the normal documentation, what is, is done here is the, the system, the documentation system is actually abnormal or significant because the exceptions or the findings that are out of norms that are usually recorded. The advantage of this system, for one, is it reduces the ambiguity of the code that, that instead of repeated long notes and all of that, it just shuts it to the focus. Then the sixth is the computerized documentation. This is the use of computers to set the, the client database to add data and to revise case plan. It helps to manage volumes of, it, um, of information, especially in contemporary healthcare centers like federal city hospital facilities, now AE hospital. So here in the hospital, they are now adopting this kind of documentation because they are seeing that that's the only way they can minimize errors and of course update their own database. Continuing from what my colleague said, very successful work, the most they decide in that step. So, a good documentation have a guideline. Guideline includes facts. For a documentation to be in accordance, it must be factorized. In the sense that the nurse cannot just come out and give an account of what is not as it's not sure, or what is it is or anything it is telling. It must be based on what is see, sense, or even feel. It must be based on case patient as a holistic fear of a patient. So it must be factorial in sense. So for the documentation to be in good, it must have a fact about the patient. Whenever you see that patient or care, it must be of what is equity. Another one is accurate. For a good documentation, it must be accurate. Accurate in the sense that everything written about that patient must be accurate. So that any other team member must have confidence that this is exactly what is technical. Not when you take something and very something. Maybe a patient is running temperature at 8 degrees and in the document you went at the face. So it, it's not totally oh. normal. For a good documentation, it has to be accurate. In the sense that every other member, every other team work has other professional people who want to come into that, look into that, to give have a very sure that what is talking about, what the patient, what the, the nurse is is very good, what the documentation is accurate about.
the patient case. So it was called documentation of most matters. The patient file should describe the historic situation and let the nursing activity receiving the patient. Nothing here, even this patient, regardless of the level of documentation used by the healthcare system. There is nothing in the evaluation. Let's say, what is the green admission?
the types of labels and types of document, documents used by AE standards. We well, have the award reports, the coverage reports, reports to which include the award reports. Okay, the coverage report, the business report, which my colleague has earlier explained. Then, notice of the lesion charge, which is used to record temporary report respiration. Sleep charge, which is used to record the uh, blood produces in cavernous flus. Drug treatment charge. Uh, then, okay, then, notice process form, GT allocation, GT roster, GT attendance. These are documents, but very vital documents. Which help, which they can serve as legal tender. Then, types of reports using AUA is We have the world report, COVID notice report, incident report. The world report, now let's look at the world report. These reports are used to maintain flow of information from one city to another. They give details, information about activities or care rendered on patients. And they provide statistics of vital world information. Then, report samples, let's look at some report samples AIE, surgical, AIE unit, surgical unit. In this uh, unit, the uh, report writing is, uh, is not very standard in the sense that not all the care rendered to the patient are captured. This is going to the fact that notice in the unit are overworked and shortage of manpower. Uh, the report contains the people that are not and the unit of the unit team managing the patient, uh, the, and the world the patient is being transferred to. Uh, then, what items are not documented in this world? Next. Okay. Then the intensive care unit, uh, ICU 2, the report writing style is very comprehensive. The details of care rendered are documented. Progress note is also written for each ward, for each patient, written in the report book. So the, the, in this ward also, they include, they hand over all items, equipment that are in the ward. For example, cardiac monitors, the fibrillators, the drivers, they hand over all these things, making for proper documentation. Then in the newborn unit, newborn. It's also uh, another unit that does proper uh, nursing documentation. They apply nursing process for each baby. So in their report writing, they don't actually include all the babies in the report. They can select like three babies out of. They select like three babies out of maybe ten to write on in the report. Then the CDCRC, uh, that this is a clean, this is a clean, not actually a, a word. So they don't write reports in the EDC uh, address. So uh, then the coverage notice report. This is a very wonderful report because this report covers the statistics of all happenings in the hospital. Everything that happened in the hospital, the coverage notice has the right to give query to every staff and they can take critical decisions. They can even represent management in, in court. Then in conclusion, and uh, nothing report writing and documentation is a very is an integral part of nothing profession. And its importance cannot be over emphasized. Accurate documentation is highly important in day to day activities in nothing practice. It is it is the duty of a professional nurse who took care of the patient to ensure accurate documentation. Thank you very much. At the end of the lecture, participants were allowed to appraise the intent ask questions and make recommendations where necessary. Please, I think the difference between fact, accuracy, and correctness. I, will, I want this to say, please, um, uh, the procedure so that um, we, we understand it. Documentation, you must make it be real, not just the right thing that yeah, you are documented on a patient, that the patient comes to the social time, you are not, the patient comes to a little world at social time, with this diagnosis of this thing. And what, what, what we are seeing is not what we documented. Because maybe patient is a fibra, and you know that patient is fibra. <coughs> then, in correct, in correctness, means, I mean, ongoing of patient care. What is happening at that moment is the status of the patient. Not previously, maybe look at, uh, maybe look at the other patient record. You come and put it down on your own record. Because we want to document or the problem they will have is even if there is legal issue, maybe a patient that came there maybe ten days ago and maybe because of how the case was handled and the children now you have decided to come and investigate on that. I expected us to talk on the storage of this documented information. Because if we don't have good storage of this information, 
and some come to have a uh, exterior what is inside the screen. We may not have any tools to show. And in our hospital, take it on limit. If you go around to take the document as a 10 years ago, you may not be able to find it. You may not find it. So, what the first presenter said was also good. Because we are now looking at new documentation. How do we keep in? How do we use it to improve our practice? How do we use it to improve our profession? That is number one. Then, the second one, the last uh, presenter, he summarized it. He talked about the uh, method of this uh, documentation. If you look at the Nigerian police force, they have a particular method of documentation because if documentation is one, then people that have interest obtain this document is another thing. At times, nothing may, may document, and at the end of it, somebody will just go and uh, write one thing or the other inside the report. So, do we have a unique way of documenting our report so that nobody will utter it? Like in Nigeria, for this point, once you go, they will rule like this and tell you not to paragraph anyone that is in the continuous writing. But in our own, Oftentimes, I, I go to where, if I see the report in the world and look at it, you will see where they left enough space that can be enough to alter the report. So, I want to challenge the government. Since we are talking about um, improving nursing practice, can't we have or come up with a way to at least have a standardized way of writing report? And can't you have a way of uh, or look at ways of storing this um, document for a long time use. Because even if you want to use it for uh, retrospective uh, research and you don't have good documented facts, you may not be able to do it very well. You may just come and uh, talk blah 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 and call things and give us. But in retrospective research, we look at documented uh, information which in our own case we may not be able to have hands on of Long uh, documented. Uh, so I'm telling you, you that to look at it or to come up with a way or allow apply with the office of internet to see what happens in the standardized of writing this report and ways of storing this report for a long time. Thanks. I want to understand. You don't say that this case is not much. So that they is the 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 yeah, maybe because of time, we were unable to bring the house. But uh, at least for the presenters, for us, uh, as a living here, and those uh, that are listening, know that uh, some of these things that uh, I highlighted uh, our ways. Then there are, there are some things you left out in the uh, report format. Things like ESBA uh, reporting, things like SOAP reporting. Here in this hospital, that's what uh, the doctors use, the SOAP reporting. SOAP is a subjective, objective assessment uh, uh, plan. So such report is, is, is very wide here, so you're not supposed to have elected now. Because if you bring out any documentation by a doctor, that's exactly what they do. It's not by a, a, a person complaint of so then. After talking about the uh, person complaint, then they talk on observation, that's objective assessment. On observation, they find that this person is for uh, February or not, and February, and they tell you or not, like that. Then uh, on assessment, they will report uh, abdomen, what is going on there, the heart, whether it's uh, clear. After the routine, they will make the assessment, what is the diagnosis. And then start to make a plan. That's uh, the method that is uh, very simple. And uh, there are some places you'll be. You'll be the first person to uh, take the history of the patient. So that's a uh, soap uh, uh, method. It's good for initial and uh, that's only. I can see it. That's one. That's why I'm highlighting it. Then I ask bar when you want to report your reporting. Situation background uh, uh, assessment recommendation. S bar is, is, is the best for reporting. In, yeah, you need to want to transfer to uh, or you want to call your attack or another uh, signal or the dog. That something is going wrong. So the the situation, the start of the situation, this is the situation now. This was the background. The uh, one of the situation. This was how the patient was. This patient was normal before this time. That this thing started. Then assess what do we assess? And I think uh, you 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 think well, as what what uh, you assume may be wrong. I think uh, this may be the case. I think maybe uh, uh, the patient needs to be refused. Yes, whatever you you know the take and you you have assessed. You tell them your recommendation, please. Can can we start oxygen therapy? I think this patient is uh, having a hypothermia. Uh, is having a one difficult. Can we initiate oxygen therapy? Can you come and review this patient? The recommendation. The secretary, nurse Abu Gabriel, was in time to read the meaning of April scientific session. We go to April six chapter dinner meeting held on fourteen April twenty nineteen at School of Midwifery, A. E. Talisha Hall. Opening prayer. 
the meeting started by four or five PM, followed by open prayer, which was said by not the Kuru Tina Sachi. Opening remark, the opening remark was made by the chair of the chief of Moody in JC. She thanked me by president for their commitment. I said that the meeting started very late to honor the victory of the city in the hall. Correspondent, not Omeg Osama, took permission for after scientific session. The scientific session of the vote was handled by the four North students on the topic practical application of mostly process in client case. Questions slash contributions. They were applauded for the attempt made. However, a lot of contributions slash criticism were made, some of which includes no objective was stated, deviation from the main topic that is practical application of non state process in client case. The inability to meet up with time, meet up with time due to overcrowded crowded PowerPoint. Wrong citation in your work, ETC. So it was recommended that the association should liaise, should liaise with the energy to enforce utilization of nothing process in client care, both in the world, emergency situation, and in outpatient basis. Now, to shift the noise, the project and the same thing has not been prepared to discuss one on one. Why is here, like, not that we can see now and we get that last Thank you very much. Um, in fact, I was very much impressed because um, I have been following these presentations. I have always participated. I have always listened to other groups. And like I did say during the um, observations that this presentation is the best I have ever witnessed. And um, following what I was asked today, the fact that I can affirm that there is hope for nothing. And among other things, the board needs, the academic pro works expressed by the presenters were very much wonderful. And I want to believe that if they are encouraged, like the corrections we made, if they go back and affect this correction, one thing you should know is that learning is a continuous process. You always stop learning when you go fit six feet below. So that means when you are there, that's the time you stop learning. So when they will go back and affect those corrections, I believe the next time they will be called to do a presentation anyway. We are very sure they're going to represent very well. And let me also add that one of the objectives we aim to achieve for these presentations that are being done by the in every month is that we want to leave them, we want them to leave the state with a better information so that anywhere they, they go tomorrow to practice or to teach or do anything for nothing, that people will actually know that they came to exchange with them. So I'm very much, in summary, I'm very much happy with the presentation today, but there is still room for improvement. Thank you. It's wonderful, as usual, to uh, espouse uh, what the Gunstar has always believed in, Nightingaleism and professionalism for qualitative length. The presenters, we are wonderful in their presentation, and the audience, and their contribution was also wonderful. We were able to, uh, to show that we know the, the, our, the art and science of nursing, of taking care of the sick, of uh, taking care of humanity. It was brought out in the presentation. Okay, I discovered that uh, your scientific session is the usual monthly meeting other associations have. Um, why is yours different? I mean, the style and the pattern of your meeting. It's not a meeting per se, it's the name is scientific session. And they said that uh, if uh, that session is not there, we may not, may not meet. We are meeting because we want to have that uh, session. And the same session is there if you can go approach to what we do in, in the hospital. So if uh, we don't have that uh, session, I don't think uh, we have any meeting. Major that that's not how we can meet without discussing uh, our problem. So after the session, we give a uh, little time to hear from, from members. So, but purely, the as the name implies, every session, that's what it is. Now, are there graduates uh, who who don't want to identify with the guns, uh, graduate nurses, especially those within a uh, Bonnie state? I will not say so, but uh, you know, there's no how you can get everybody at the same time. That somebody did not appear does not mean that uh, the person is not a member. You understand? There's uh, no a particular church you go on so that you see every member of that church uh, being in attendance. So they are the fight with us, but you know, that's not how you can get everybody at the same time. How you know is that uh, when uh, you call for payment of dues, you see people paying dues, even when they are not there. Well, so they they have they have been fine, and uh, it's also not that association, uh, by based on our constitution, it's not by uh, uh, by uh, compulsory that uh, somebody must belong to you know, an association. But for something that's uh, a compassion, which you know, if there's any struggle, once we get it, we don't say that it's, it's members that attend the meeting that uh, we've gotten something for. It says for every graduate, like when uh, we got internship and power placement, it was free that we are expecting for it to get uh, the uh, front line of the struggle. But when we got it, it was for everybody. And anyway, you go to the nobody's place on coin seven again, to send wise. So, in other that, everybody will be lost. But in case, I think you can't get everybody at the same time. Okay, sorry, before I let you go, what do you have to say to graduate nurses, especially aspiring interns? What I have to tell them is that uh, nothing, whatever nothing, it will be uh, tomorrow. Depends on uh, what we have given to it. And uh, if uh, we feed it with what to make it grow better, it will grow well. And if we don't feed it with what to make it, it will not. So if we want our profession to have a good public image and respectability, we, it is incubate on us to start to be good ambassadors 
of the profession. So we give all we have to client care and then give all we have to the profession. And make sure we call, come out when we're supposed to come out to discuss about the profession, how to improve it and make concerted efforts well, to enjoy. see that improvement. Yeah, all our efforts was appreciated and I think good response from the audience saying that we did well. And there was one or two critics which is important which is important to us to learn and develop ourselves. So you know general I'm happy and who we deliver. As the world is going digital and people are becoming increasingly IT savvy Nurses have been enjoined to toe in this direction for effective nursing documentation in clinical settings. From Alex Kwame Federal University Teaching Hospital at Bakalik, a venue of the Gunsa Scientific Session, I am Nurse Chukuma Iwayan reporting for Gunsa Television.